Yo, what's happening guys? How the heck are you? Welcome back to Rule of Two Review. So really quickly before I get started on the actual video and the topic at hand, I just have to make an amendment to my video that I just posted earlier today where I discussed what I think are the 10 best console launch video game titles of all time. It's a really cool video. It was a lot of fun to do. I had a blast putting it together. However, it appears as though I made a mistake. So basically it turns out that the game that I included as number four on that list, which I'm not gonna spoil right now because I feel like you should still go watch the video if you're curious, um, was not actually a launch title. I was off by about a year, unfortunately, which is really embarrassing. It's an older game for an older console and I pride myself in my knowledge of that older era because I did live through it and enjoy it so very much. But it turns out that I goofed and I made a mistake and that title technically, not even technically, exactly was not a launch title. Pretty embarrassing, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm only human. Uh, I made a mistake. I had a couple of people who graciously pointed it out in the comments. So I made an amendment to the comments and the notes and, you know, I acknowledge the goof up that I made. Uh, like I said, it's kind of embarrassing and silly, but you know, I mean, I just do this for fun. Really, rule of two review, it's not like my job. So I only have so much time to put in whatever research I need when I make a video like that, just making a list. So I made a mistake. I still loved the game that I included. I think I had a pretty fun conversation about video games in that video. And uh, you know what? That's just really what this comes down to. And people like to tune into me to hear me talk about video games. And that's what I normally do. That's what I did on that video. And that's what I'm going to do again here today. So I know why you guys came. You want to hear me talk about the brand new trailer for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which just uh, premiered tonight on the Game Awards. Now, unfortunately, I was at work during the Game Awards airing. I mean, it probably just finished streaming, I think 20, 25 minutes ago. So it's really fresh, the whole show. It just happened. Of course, I get home right as the whole thing finishes. I did want to watch it because like I said, I get a lot of fun out of watching the show. I don't think it's incredible. It's a little bit ridiculous. There's obviously money behind it. I don't really think that the awards are valuable. We have a couple of years to go on that front when it comes to the Game Awards, but I still appreciate that it's an hour or two of video game and entertainment. You get a bunch of famous people in the industry, you get surprise previews and trailers, and today featured a bunch of Zelda stuff. Pretty fantastic news, it was a surprise announcement from Nintendo the other day that, that they were going to premiere Zelda information, and they did some live gameplay with Bill Trinan and another individual, Nate something I want to say, I'm sorry I can't remember his name. Pretty interesting stuff, but before that they actually showed an actual trailer, it was about a minute and a half, almost two minutes long, and it was a story heavy trailer really interesting, super cool stuff happening in this trailer. Ultimately, the bottom line is I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, they seem to hint at connections to a lot of previous Zelda games and previous lore. I really like to see that because that's one of the things I want out of this game. Not just a nebulous Hyrule and a nebulous Link running through a nebulous world doing random things. Although that would be fine, I like the idea of it feeling a part of the bigger picture of Zelda now that Nintendo took their time to kind of half-assedly create a branching timeline when Skyward Sword came out, the last console Zelda game. And speaking of Skyward Sword, it appears as though, and obviously Obviously, none of this is confirmed. This is just speculation that myself and a lot of people are already having, I'm noticing, that there might have been a Loftwing present in this game. And it's interesting because already Breath of the Wild seems to kind of have like a more refined visual art style that's very reminiscent of Skyward Sword as well as, of course, Wind Waker. We already know that the Koroks are present, which were the little tree creatures in the Wind Waker, so there seems to be a connection there. But maybe, if in fact that was a Loftwing, which it sure as hell looked like it, maybe we also have a Skyward Sword connection. And <clears throat> you've heard me talk about it before, I think Skyward Sword is criminally underrated. It's not the best Zelda game, but it's an incredible experience. It's To me, it's a top three or four. I can't remember. I made a list where I included it. I think it's a wonderful game. Loved the story, and uh, I, I think that if they were to build upon the story that that game put in place, which is smart because they created that game to be the genesis of the entire Zelda lineage, I think that that would be smart and really interesting and maybe even add that much more value and weight to Skyward Sword as a game. Uh, so I think that that's very, very interesting. Of course, they showed some female characters booping and bumping about in this trailer, which has, of course, got a lot of people talking as well. There was uh, a side shot of a character. We didn't see any faces of any other characters, NPCs that weren't Link. But we did see a side shot of a female character walking, wearing what appears to be almost identical clothing as to the, the base 
Link that we've seen in all the promo for Breath of the Wild, where he's wearing that blue kind of shirt. It's not really a tunic, it's just a blue shirt and like a strap thing and these brownish pants. And it just looked like this person was wearing the same kind of garb, only very obviously female for a couple of reasons you can probably imagine. Um, that's gonna That joke is going to go in the wrong direction, but it's true. It just is obviously a female version. There's also very, very long hair too. So what's going on with that? Is this Linkle? Is this a female Link character? Is it a, can you choose to play as a female? I certainly don't think that's the case. Is it just another random female character or is it Zelda? Maybe. I kind of think it's Zelda. My girlfriend and I just finished watching the trailer and I feel like it could be Zelda. But at the very end of the trailer, we see another character which very much appears to potentially be female. We mostly see this person's hand and they do this kind of, you know, grabbing motion very intently. And we have Link behind this character kind of bowing or falling over. I'd have to watch it again now. And um, it's like, okay, is that Zelda? And is that even a different character than the first character we see that's obviously female? For all we know, that's actually the same person. So I guess I should say it's not necessarily two characters or two female characters we're talking about. They could be the same. So there's a lot going on there. What What is that about? But what I love is that it's teasing us and it's giving us glimpses of the story and the larger picture at hand within Breath of the Wild, which previously they hadn't done. All the stuff that they showed us from E3 was of this plateau area, which was cool, but it was all, it wasn't really contextual. It was just, here's a big area, you run around, you craft things, you build things, you you get cold, you get hot, you eat, you cook, you fight. That's what it was showing us, just some of those bare essential mechanics. Great, also seeing the exploration was fantastic, but it didn't really let us know the context of what was happening, a little bit with the shrine stuff, to be fair. But this is giving us glimpses into what we come to expect from a Legend of Zelda game, a brand new console, AAA next-gen experience Legend of Zelda game. That's what we saw with this trailer. And it got me really excited, you guys, and we got to see a lot more. We got to get an idea of what the worlds outside of the plateau look like, the variety of locations and the forest and the fog and the mountains and the trees and some of the different enemies. You know, I should speak about the gameplay stuff that Bill, that Bill did, which was very interesting. Um, that was obviously the Wii U version because they were playing with a gamepad, so that's important to note. I'm sure that everything we saw tonight was from the Wii U version. That being said, I have to say it looks gorgeous. Yes, the frame rate's questionable, but you know what? It could be streaming stuff, or it could just be that it's unfinished, or it could just be that the Wii U version has frame rate problems. Maybe it's just that. Who really cares? It looks amazing. And even if some of what we saw tonight was the Switch version, while you could say that, okay, it doesn't look as good as what I'd think the next generation version of this game looked like, if, if the Switch version looked like what we saw... I would not be disappointed. I would not be complaining. And anyone that would be complaining is way too spoiled for their own good and needs to really step back and check themselves. But I haven't seen any of that yet, so let's not jump to conclusions. So the only other thing I have to say is going back to the gameplay stuff that Bill showed, it was really just more combat. Um, and it kind of showed some of the variety of enemies and the variety of combat with the different weapons. I really, really enjoyed that. I loved the location. I think it was a shrine. They were in like a cave or a shrine or something. Um, I like seeing that some of the enemies, the last enemy they fought was just a random enemy, but he was huge. He was like Monster Hunter style huge. And I was like, wow, this is not necessarily what I expected. Kind of similar to how some of the, uh, the base level, maybe not the base level, like the 20 and 30 level enemies in Xenoblade Chronicles X look, they're pretty huge. They're like four or five times the size of you, your character. And that was really exciting to see. I was like, oh, I didn't really expect that out of, like, you know, regular old enemies. We did see the big rock guy from all the E3 stuff on the plateau, but that's more that was more like an event character that you would just stumble upon and you would raise himself out of the ground and you're like, oh, here's a big mofo I have to fight to get whatever it is he's going to give me. This that we saw at the end, the big, the big fellow that they fought at the end of this gameplay stuff with Bill seemed just more organic. Like, he's just one of the big enemies walking around this shrine or cave or what have you. So I really appreciated seeing the variety of interaction with the world, the different ways that you can combat foes, the different kinds of foes and sizes and the variety of those. And then, of course, at the end, they were at the end of this cave and there's this big glowing smoky thing way at the end that they wanted to go to. And Bill was like, no, 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 we, we can't do that. We got to save some stuff for later. So we're just going to have to tease them and let them wonder what that is. But the other guy, Nate, I'm going to call him Nate just in case that's his name. Nate was like, oh man, I really want to show everybody what it is, but I guess we can't. And I was like, you cheeky sons of bitches. <laughs> so that's just the way Nintendo does things. And of course they confirmed it's coming 2017 for the Wii U and the Nintendo Switch. 
So we don't really know what the release situation is looking like yet. Is it going to be March? Is it not going to be March? No one freaking knows. It's all over the place. I still want to believe in March, so that's where I'm gonna that's where I'm gonna put my chips on for now is a March release date for the Switch version, probably for both versions. Um, and yeah, interesting stuff, man. I, I really I love what we I love what we saw. I gotta say, way to go, Nintendo! You did the right stuff. You got people really excited. I'm totally fine with them holding off Switch footage for January 12th. That's cool, man. It's like you know what? Just do it all in one shot. Just Blow your load all on that day. Give us all of the Switch goodness, all of the Zelda Switch version awesomeness. And that's going to make everyone happy and pumped and excited. And it's great because this further shows us how really fantastic and undersold this Wii U version of this game is, you guys. I think it's really special that it's still going to make it out for the Wii U. I think it's special that it, it shows what that system really was capable of. And granted, it's the last game possibly releasing on this console that's going to show everyone really what the system was capable of. But it is what it is, you know. I'm picking up the Switch version. I'm certainly going to miss that gamepad second screen experience. And we don't even know if this if the Wii U version of the game is going to use that. They didn't show any of that tonight. So that's all in question as well. But... We'll have to see. I gotta say, though, guys, I loved what we saw. Nothing but good stuff. I wish there was more, but we know that in just a month's time, month and a half or so, we're gonna finally get all the stuff that we want, and it's going to be really exciting. What did you guys think of the trailer and the gameplay stuff that Nintendo showed tonight for Breath of the Wild? Did you find the trailer to be as emotional and just amazing like I did? Uh, did you find it to be underwhelming? Did you think the gameplay stuff looked exciting like I thought? Or did you also find that to be underwhelming? I have a feeling most people are going to find it pretty damn exciting because it's Zelda and it looks great. So that's what's going on, guys. Really exciting time. Hooray for Nintendo and Zelda news. And that's it for this video. This, of course, is Rob Overrule to review. And I will catch you guys next time on another video.